Yeah, and judging by that tweet from President Donald Trump with that uh, wow there, his administration likely is counting this as a big win as well, Kim. And, you know, this ruling from the Supreme Court really does end this saga that started just days after President Donald Trump took office back in 2017. That's when he issued that executive order that did bar entry for a period of time from people from seven majority uh, Muslim nations. The Supreme Court here siding with the president saying that, one, he does have the authority to uh, make a judgment like this, to make a ruling like this, to issue an executive order like this, and two, uh, that this does not discriminate in any way against Muslims. That was, of course, uh, a major challenge coming from individuals and lower courts. This was a 5-4 decision on Tuesday by the Supreme Court. The justices split along ideological lines here. Chief Justice John Roberts writing the majority opinion and uh, being joined by his four conservative colleagues. Roberts writing that presidents have substantial power to regulate immigration. And if we look back to December, Kim, we may have gotten a signal uh, about how the Supreme Court would decide this decision, which way uh, they were waving. At that time, that is when the justices here allowed this, this policy rather to go into full effect, even as it was being debated in lower courts. And, uh, that met, and, and at a time, especially when many lower courts ruled that this was sort of out of bounds. One thing that I think is important to note here is that the justices really did sort of stay away from judging the president's motives here and just stuck to judging uh, the idea of whether or not he had the power. And Kim, according to the justices here, he had the power, and this is a solid ruling. And, and going forward, does this mean that Trump could potentially add more countries? Because I remember that this was the, the third version of this, uh, of this travel ban. Two, previously, two previous ones had been thrown out. So could, could Trump add more countries if he, if he decides he wants to go that way? That's one thing uh, that immigration policy watchers and legal experts are certainly going to be looking at. Um, this does open the door for President Donald Trump to potentially make more moves like this, considering that the justices say, as I just read earlier, that presidents have substantial power to regulate immigration. So certainly, Kim, uh, that's something that people will definitely be watching here. Um, but when it comes to the things that the justices looked at when they decided this, we'll wonder if those are going to be the the same things that they'll look at next time if this does become an issue. In this case, the justices had to really consider whether or not suspension of entry from aliens abroad, which is how they put it, is even justifiable. They had to look at whether or not this broad implementation of uh, suspension, and even by a case-by-case -case basis, is something that the president had the legal authority to do. They also had to look at whether or not what the president did with that executive order was a violation of the Establishment Clause of the Constitution. The Establishment Clause of the Constitution, of course, prevents governments from taking actions that favor one religion or another. So uh, these certainly big issues the court had to consider and likely issues that will come up again if the president does decide to add more countries, Kim.